Putting hogs on the mob, planting purple seeds. Baltimore Ravens coat, purple trim, big body, old school for low. Purple rim, 77 cutty, black with the purple strip. All right, what's well, good, y'all? That right there. <laughs> that was a funny game. That that was a that was a funny game right there. I got I got it. The game had me laughing. The game had me laughing. You, you got You got to think about it. Okay. We're now nine and five. Okay. I felt funny about this game and you know, usually when you feel a certain way about a game, things seem to happen and that happened in this game. Um, it's just, uh, the stupid, I'm just saying it. Okay. The stupidity of Harps not just taking a field goal, you know, on the fourth and one, giving it to Apache record. For the one yard, and we seen that last week. The same exact play. Guess the, the get, was they thinking the Browns wasn't looking at tape or something? Okay, then we all know Huntley can't throw the ball, but we saw J.K. Dobbins on his birthday. Happy birthday, J.K. Cooking, cooking. We saw Gus cooking, but you know, with this offense, with that top paid offense coordinator, when the running game is going too good, which is his specialty, when it's going too good. Let's, let's stop that. Let's put a pause on it. We're going to outsmart them, which we're technically doing is outsmarting ourselves. JK was cooking. Gus is cooking. Even Hill with that big, like third and 15 or something like that, he was cooking. And what do we do? We go away from it. We start making Huntley pass the ball. And we know he can't pass over six yards. But he passed over 10 yards this game. One play. It was just one play. But he passed over 10 yards. Just want to throw that out there. But he's not an accurate passer. But the run game is working and it's working. They can't stop him. They go on halftime. They come back. We need to stop JK. We need, we need to stop Gus. And they still can't stop him. But the Ravens stop their sales because they stop running the ball. And I know some people is going to get upset with the defense. In my personal opinion, I can't get mad at the defense. They gave up 13 points. Gave up one touchdown. One touchdown. And I know some people was like, man, but they, one touchdown they gave up. Other points that the Browns got received, I would say, was field goals. They gave a field goal in the second quarter. Another field goal in the second quarter. A touchdown in the third quarter. Then they shut them out. They shut them out. The Ravens fumbled the ball. Interception. And a blocked field goal. And offense couldn't do nothing. But the defense shut them out. Fumbled. Shut them out. Interception. Shut them out. And the block field goal. We all know we can't be mad at the goat. Tucker. He missed. He missed the field goal. Yes. But let's just say. And he had a block. Let's just say Harv decided to go for that field goal in the first. He hit that. That's three points. Then obviously we know he hit the second field goal. The six points. 
Then third field goal that was blocked. It's nine points. It's another field goal I'm missing, I believe. Oh, wait, no, I'm not, because that's all we got is three points. So even with that, and might I add, the Browns had two missed field goals. Two missed field goals. They just shanked. It's the weather. The weather was starting to kick up. It was starting to snow. So let's not be mad at the defense. For overall, the grade of the defense, only giving up 13 points with the offense that's not helping them, I would give them a B plus. I would give them a B plus because the offense is not helping. If the offense was helping, and the defense still couldn't slow them down or field goals or whatever, then I'll give them a lower grade. But the offense literally did not help. They, The offense put up a total of Prochet on the scoreboard. That's three. That's Prochet's number. It's three. Prochet dropped the pass with a bad pass thrown to him as well, but they both came together, and they was both terrible. Then when Prochet was open, the pass was late. Is it me? Does Huntley sometimes, his passes don't, I know they don't have no zip, but they be seem like they be floating in the air for a long time. Anyway, that's, 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 that's another subject. But let's look at some of the stats. Tyler Huntley, 30 attempts. Got sacked three times. And those sacks, technically, he only got sacked once. The other two sacks, those was all on him. And one of them, he literally ran out of bounds. Three yards back. And he ran out of bounds. Doesn't make sense. And another performance of a zero touchdown. The wide receivers we have are so bad they haven't scored a touchdown since week three. Week three of the NFL season. Let's get to the let's 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 get to the, the nitty gritty, the good stuff. The rushing. JK on his birthday. 13 carries, 125 yards. 37 is the longest. Gus Edwards. Seven carries, 55 yards, longest 25. And we go back to this Tyler Huntley, six carries, 15 yards. Take away a six, maybe put one carry and give the other five carries, three to JK, two to Gus. You just never know. You then look at our receiving. Look at our receiving. Not one, not one over 40 yards, 35 yards. <laughs> the Marcus Robinson, six receptions, total 29 yards. Gonna be stuck with it. We're gonna be stuck with it. Look at the fumble. Demarcus Robinson fumble. He fumbled twice. <laughs> I ain't know he fumbled twice. I ain't know he fumbled twice. That's just bad. <laughs> Holy fumbled. 
Duvernay. I don't remember Duvernay fumbling. Oh, they probably put that 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 uh that handoff. They probably put that on on Devin Duvernay. To me, that was Huntley. But look, Raquan, eleven. You know, deep, like I said, defense. I ain't got no problem. I ain't got no problem with defense. If you could tell me, if you could tell me, without even telling me the score, you say Deshaun Washington passed for one hundred sixty-one yards, one TD. Nick Chubb did not go over a hundred yards. Do y'all win that game? I would definitely say yes, without a doubt. We stopped Nick Chubb from hitting 100 yards. And Deshaun Watson only has one TD. We win in that game. Oh, no, no, no. But you got Greg Roman as an offense coordinator. You got John Harbaugh as a head coach. That just don't want to take points when they're available. This is, the thing about it is, I know some people is not gonna really trip off this. The thing about it is this game shows more flaws in the front office and in the coaching than what the score shows. It shows a problem with the Ravens front office and their coaching and their, their ways of old school football that they do not want to get rid of. And it's just pitiful. It's like sad. And I know some people are like, man, don't negative talk. It's not really negative talk to me. It's truth talk. Because sometimes the truth can hurt. But the truth can be negative as well. And look at the writing is on a wall. But y'all are nine and five. Okay, we're nine and five. If the playoffs was to start, will we win the Super Bowl? No. Will we win a playoff game? No. Let's say we do win a playoff game. So you're happy with one and done. So you're happy with winning one playoff game, and then next thing you know, we watching the we watching like everybody else. Not rooting for our team. We ain't got our Raven stuff on. All we do is just have our Raven stuff on. But we just watching other playoff teams and other teams get the Lombardi or get closer to the Lombardi. So you're just happy with one and done. No matter how you look at it, can we beat Kansas City? Mm -mm. Can we beat the Bengals? Because mm -mm. we can't get no offensive, also physical power. But anyway, but yeah, that's why this game is funny. Next is the Falcons, I believe. So we know right now, as I made this video, Horbs probably doing some analytics or saying some excuse why they start running the ball for Greg Roman. Um, we've heard it year after year the year, the excuses. Just don't make sense. It just, it is what it is. Anyway, hopefully you all enjoyed the game. I enjoyed it. Even though we caught that fresh ale, it was funny. It was funny to me. Those of you that came by my live, we all had a good laugh because it was just funny. You see, this team has no clue what they are doing without Lamar Jackson at the helm. And you just look like, y'all don't want to pay the bed? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you all for coming by. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, share. The notif notification. Everybody stay safe. God bless.